桐生のダブル主人公っていったものを発表してきたんですけれどもやっぱこう正しく桐生がなぜここに至るまでになったのかっていうところはゲームでやっぱりちゃんと伝えなきゃいけないかなと思って、まあ、そこを楽しんでいただけるとよりこう龍が如くのこれまでの物語が深く理解できるようにな,なるかなと思います。So,、uh, Kiryu appeared in Yakuza Like a Dragon in 7, kind of as a, kind of, he appeared as a side character very briefly and kind of helped out in the story. And in the next game, in Like a Dragon in the Wealth, he's kind of a co protagonist with、uh, Kasuga Ichiban, right? So, we figured we kind of had to say, like, what happened? How did he get here? Like,、yeah. if we didn't do that, we felt like we'd be not really. His adopted daughter, now that he's come out of hiding, are we going to see? あったりはしますかねそこがあの今回の「セブンガイデン」の結構鍵となる設定で、まあ、そこはちょっと詳しくはお伝えできないんですけれども鍵となる設定で、まあ、そこはちょっと詳しくはお伝えできないんですけれども、まあ、非常にこう感情を多く揺,すば、ね、こう揺さぶられるような物語になっているのでぜひ期待してください。So, we can't talk in too much detail about this because unfortunately it's very、uh, key to the plot of the story. But what we can say is that it's going to be an emotional and、uh, interesting tale, and we think you all like it. Oh, I'm certain we will.、Um, I also want to know if there are any familiar faces that we can expect to see. I am mostly just digging to see if we get to see Ichiban come back or my beloved Majima. Majima <laughs> あのメインストーリー自体が本当にこうセブンの裏側とかも語られているのでやっぱりこう春日一番とかも、まあ、こう劇中にはやっぱりこう関与するというか登場しますし今までのレジェンドのキャラクターもいろいろサイドコンテンツとしても楽しめる部分もあるので、まあ、シリーズファンの方はすごく満足いけるような満足できるようなこう内容になっていると思います。So,、um, this kind of, the plot of this game takes place in the kind of the shadows of Yakuza Like a Dragon. So, Kasuga Ichiban is very much related to the story. You kind of see hints of him throughout it.、Um, but outside of that, there's going to be also lots of legendary characters who you're familiar with, with the series. You're going to see people pop up in side stories and other things. So, he thinks that anybody who's a fan of the series is going to be fully satiated、yes. by all the stuff that's going to pop up. <laughs>、ah, amazing. <laughs>、um, and obviously, combat is a phenomenally huge. Part of the game as well.、Um, so, how does this game approach combat、uh, and what kind of high tech gadgets can we expect to use? えっと、この、えっと、シリーズの中にはやっぱり戦闘があのメインのアクションになっていると思うんですがこのゲームにおいての、えっと、戦闘システムを教えていただけますかまたガジットはどんなものが入っているんでしょうかはいあの私たちあのスタジオも、まあ、こうちょっと直前に RPG っていうタイプのゲームを作ってきたんでこう久しぶりのこうアクションゲームということで、まあ、今我々ができる一番こう楽しめるアクションをまず作ろうというところから始まりました。So,、um, until our previous game, we made an RPG, right? Which is、uh, kind of different from an action game. So, we're kind of coming back to the whole action system and we're kind of getting our、uh, feet wet. So, we, but we made sure that we made something that we think everybody will really enjoy. So, and in this game, the combat system focuses on two different styles there is the Yakuza style and the agent style of battle. エージェントスタイルはですね、桐生一馬がこう大道寺のエージェントという設定をもとにこう今までにはなかったこうなんでしょうガジェットを使ったこうトリッキーなバトルスピーディーでこう、ね、トリッキーなバトルがこう簡単に楽しめるというところがこう目指していた部分だったりします。So, because、uh, Kasuga has sort of become an agent throughout the events of the story, this game is going to really explore that sort of new side of the battle. It's going to be very speedy, very tricky. It's going to be very different from everything you've seen up from the series to this point.、Oh, okay, then.、Um, and is there anything else you can tell us about future Like a Dragon titles? えっと、これから、えっと、レッカードラゴンシリーズの、ユーガードクシリーズの、あの、未来について、いろいろお話し聞けますかね。まあ、今お伝えできるような、本当に、すでに発表している、龍河ごとくエイト、自体がですね。まあ、来年に、こう、発売を予定して、それに向けて、こう、エイ制作中なんですけれども。本当に、今のところ、ちょっと、そこに、全力を、投入してるので<笑>。そ、そこから先は、まだ、ちょっと、まだ、ノープランっていうか、まだ、真剣に、ちょっと、構想はあるんですけど。まだ、ちょっと。
ちゃんとした形にはまだなってないかなっていう状態です。So, right now, as a studio, we're focused entirely on the things that we've already announced, which is Like a Dragon Gaiden,、uh, like、a Dragon Gaiden and、uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Well. So, that comes out next year. And until that point, we're, we have ideas what we want to do next, but we don't have any specific, like, it, it, we don't have no plan, but we haven't you know, set anything in stone. So,、um, we're focusing all of our efforts on what we've already announced. Thanks so much, Sakamoto Sam, for joining us and you as well, Gavin.、Uh, but pre orders now are available and include the legendary fighting pack if you want to go grab it yourself. And in case you missed it, Like Dragon Gaiden is set to launch on November 9th. Now, from one group of legends to another, FanFest was in full force here at Gamescom, and Xbox's own Aaron Greenberg was there for all the action and ultimate fan reactions. Check this one out. We're at FanFest, and I'm with a fan favorite.